getting very confused with, by MediaWiki. Ooh, ooh. Uh, my name is Mohammed. I am from Palestine originally uh, in Germany. Uh, a PhD student currently in Germany. And I'm, I'm working uh, particularly on the Arabic Wikipedia. So Wikidata is all this knowledge available all over f collected from so many different people and I think it's really cool because you have all those different kinds of communities that bring together knowledge that wouldn't be available in that form otherwise at all. So it's really cool that you have access to it and the same goes for Sparkle. So you have all this knowledge available and suddenly you can collect it and put it yeah, together I, I in a really cool forum. Uh, so my name is Sam Reed. I'm known as Reedy in the community. Um, I've been around more than a decade in most cases. Um, so th this hackathon we've been trying to do a new take on the mentoring program. Um, previous hackathons at the developer summits at Wikimania and in the European hackathons they've been a lot less formal. Um, people just trying to help other people I mean, as, as always happens but whereas on, on this one they've tried to um, get people just doing mentoring um, sort of trying to get them you know, don't worry about your own projects, you know, get involved, get new people going. Um, so it started off on, on the first day with people pitching projects. Um, so some people had some ideas of, you know, some of the nice buzzwords that people like. Um, so Wikidata is a really popular one to get people's interest. Um, things with Node.js and that sort of thing. And we sort of had a, uh, a couple of hour session sort of trying to get people to find the right people to, you know, to talk to, to, you know, to then try and get a project to do for the weekend. We, what we're working on is um, the gender gap dashboard. Uh, that's what we named it. Uh, basically, the idea behind it is um, that we've got uh, Wikipedia users that disclose their gender, choose to disclose their gender, um, Wikipedia ch uh, users that choose not to disclose their gender, and we wanted to do a little bit of research, um, go into that and try and figure out why that is maybe. At the moment it's male, female uh, or not given slash um, it says the gender, the software will use gender neutral words. Basically in, in this chart like all we show is um, for all of the users that exist um, on the Portuguese Wikipedia um, there's a certain number of them that have self-identified as either female or male. So here you can see that um, out of the people who self-identify with a certain gender um, on Portuguese Wikipedia, you have 75% uh, are male and uh, roughly 25% are female. I'm the main developer of a tool called Monumental. It's an a online tool that enables you to uh, searching or browsing data about monuments that are stored currently on Wikidata. Uh, we want to use this tool for selected countries uh, in uh, this year's Wikileaks monuments. There's still a couple of seats on the left hand side over here. Uh, hi everyone, so um, a few of us worked on the Commons Android app and you can see it over there. Um, so some of the new things that we have are um, a navigation drawer, which is um, really nice because previously we were stuffing everything to the action bar, not very good. Uh, and um, we also have um, a map of nearby places that need photos. <laughs> Thinking about 3D models, I thought I would help in the best way I know how, which is to work together a nice and simple native app for loading 3D models. <laughs> so here it is. And so this is the app. Um, there's no model loaded right now. You can browse for models. I have a few downloaded. Let's pick a nice one. And there we go. So this is. I'm Adam Basso. I'm an engineering director at the Wikimedia Foundation. I manage the multimedia team, uh, which is working on structured data on commons. Well, today, a lot of the media that exists on Wikimedia Commons um, has information about it, uh, like the author and the copyright and things of that nature. And that, that data is stored in templates. Uh, the, the templates sometimes have data entered in them in a way 
that isn't easy for machines to get at, and it doesn't make it particularly easy uh, for users to find the images later, um, like with search, that sort of thing. So uh, if you're looking for cats on Wikimedia Commons, uh, your searches may not turn up all of the pictures that you expected. Uh, if you look for cats in a different language, you might even have a harder time uh, finding pictures of cats and so on. And uh, what we'd like to do with structured data on commons is make the data entry uh, about images more consistent so that we can do things like internationalize the word cat, make sure when people are searching for images um, because they might be looking for images or if they're editing a Wikipedia article, they can identify those objects and place them right into the article. Ready? One, two, three.